Hello! Welcome to Stackable, the all-in-one solution to building stunning websites with a WordPress block editor. In this video, we will be talking about the Stackable progress bar and progress circle blocks and how to use its different block settings in order to create a visually attractive and engaging progress section. What does the progress bar or circle block do? Stackable's progress bar and progress circle blocks allow users to showcase the progress of certain tasks while providing necessary statistics in an engaging and attractive way on your website. Adding and customizing the blocks on your page. Progress circle block. Let's first start with the progress circle block. Once you've added the block, you will see the progress circle panel and the label panel under the cell tab of the inspector. Inside the progress circle panel, you will see various options such as the progress field and maximum progress field. The progress field is where you can adjust the percentage or value of the block, which will show the progress you want to display. A good thing to note is that this doesn't just work with fixed ranges. You can use decimal points as well, making it more dynamic. The maximum progress field is used to set the maximum limit of the progress bar. So instead of the typical 0 to 100 fixed range, you can customize it to make 0 to 365 or 0 to 10. It's up to you. Other than that, you will also see the block's design options such as the size and thickness which can be set by dragging the range control. There are also toggle options such as branded if you want to apply a border radius to a bar and animate if you want the bar to animate once the block comes to view. However, for the animate option, it's good to note that for accessibility, this animation will turn off when your visitors disabled animations or have reduced motion set on their operating system. You will also find the Accessibility Label field. This is where you can add custom accessibility labels, for example, SEO. Now, if you want to make the block more eye-catching, you can also adjust the bar color with either a single color or a gradient and add a singular background color as well. Now for the label panel, this focuses on controlling the text content and its styling. Inside this, you can adjust the contents of the block such as the progress prefix, progress suffix, and typography settings. You will have the option to toggle on or off the label setting. If you choose to keep the label on your block, you have a bunch of typography settings such as the text size, color, and shadow or outline to add more personality to your block. Next is the progress bar block. Once you've added the block, you will see the progress bar panel and the label panel under the style tab of the inspector. Inside the progress bar panel, you will see the same progress field and maximum progress field which serve the same purpose and work the same way as the progress circle. You will also see the block's design options which are different from the progress circle block such as the width, height, and border radius which can also be set by dragging the range control. Just like the progress circle block, you can also adjust the bar color with either a single color or gradient and add a singular background color as well. You will also find the Animate option and Accessibility Label field. For the Accessibility Label option, just note that if you choose to leave it blank, the default value fallback of the Progress Bar block is the Progress Bar text value, which can be found inside the Label panel. Now for the Label panel, it serves the same purpose as that of the Progress Circle block. The only difference is that you have the progress bar text field, which is where you can change the progress bar text content. If you are a premium user, it supports dynamic content too. The progress bar and progress circle have the same purpose and offer similar options. The only difference is how you want it to be presented, as a bar or as a circle. 
There are different things you can show with these two blocks such as your download, or success rate, percentage, ratings, and more. In this video, we will show you how to use the progress blocks to evaluate a marketing professional. Creating a section with the progress circle block. Let's move on to the next section of our page, which will showcase the specific tasks done by a marketing specialist and her progress in each of them. First, let's add a column block. Make it full width, and then toggle on the block background option to create its own section. Afterwards, let's add the progress circle block inside. We want the progress circle to pop out against the dark background, so let's make it bigger by making the size 255px, and thicker by making the thickness 25px. Afterwards, let's choose a singular color for the bar, and choose a bright color to make it pop. Once that's done, let's navigate to the label panel and change the text color to white so that it's easier to read. Now we want four of these, so what we can do is to select the columns block and then navigate to the general panel under the style tab. Let's slide the range control to make it four columns. Make sure you click this button so that the columns will be cloned instead of adding a blank column. Then, we can just go ahead and change the bar colors accordingly. Now that that's done, we can start populating the block with the content. Let's navigate to the label panel where we will find the percentage prefix. This is where we can put this specific task. So for this video, let's use social media. Partnerships. Sponsorships. And sales made. Afterwards, let's navigate to the progress circle panel and add the percentage of each task. And there you have it! Now let's view it in the front end. Looks great! Creating a section with a progress bar block. Now let's use the progress bar block to showcase the qualities of a marketing specialist in a company. What we want to show is the progress of the individual in regards to each key quality such as creativity, sales-mindedness, adaptability, and communication. First, let's add a two-column block so that we can display her photo on the left and the statistics shown by the progress bar block on the right. After uploading her photo, let's add four progress bar blocks on the right column to represent each key quality. We want the design of the bars to match with the photo so let's select the first progress bar block and navigate to the progress bar panel under the style tab of the inspector. Let's make the height 35px and the border radius 25px. Afterwards, let's select the gradient for the bar color and choose a shade of pink and purple to match the image on the left. Once that's done, let's make sure that the animate option is toggled on to make it more engaging for the visitors when they visit our site. Now let's do the same for the remaining bar blocks. If you are a premium user, you can just use the copy paste styles feature like this. But for now, let's just quickly do it manually.
Now that we've designed our progress bars, let's now add the key quality in the progress bar text field, which can be found in the label panel. Then let's change the text color to white for better readability. Looks great! Now the next step is to input the percentage on each block. This is the statistics to show the individual's progress in each key quality. Let's go back to the progress bar panel and populate the percentage field. A good thing to note is that this doesn't just work with fixed ranges. You can use decimal points as well to make it more dynamic. And there you have it! In just a few minutes, we successfully created an eye-catching and engaging section with the progress bar block. Now let's view it in the front end. Looks great! The great thing about these blocks is that it offers design settings that can help elevate your site's visuals, while also being engaging to your website visitors. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you need more information regarding Stackable, feel free to join our Facebook community or visit our website. We'll link them down below.